Today's episode is Inking a Scene. I'm going to ink these images with the fine liners. And then quite uh, traditionally, a lot of people use nib pens with ink, but when I start drawing manga style, um, all that traditional, very traditional uh, material is uh, quite expensive. And then I need to use something more accessible. And then also I like that the fine liner got more stiff line. The important thing is just do it carefully, but at the same time, I don't want to lose the dynamics of the line as well. So it's kind of difficult to talk while inking because I almost stopped breathing. So the hair around the face are kind of fraying work, which is good to start with because it set what you have to fit in inside of it. I'm extremely careful when I'm adding eyes because it gives a life to the character. Eyes are also very important to give a facial expression to the character. When you are drawing here, it's same for the same other when you are drawing body. Think about section by sections. I have to kind of go back and forth to face, hair, and then costume around the neck because it's all overwrapping each other. And now, keep him a little here. And you have to be really careful not to smudge the line you've already done. Some part you need to draw like really quickly one go. To not to kill the dynamics of the line. Because this character is wearing like heavily woven uh, kind of material, I don't add too much creases because if you add too much creases, it looks like the material, ma the material of the costume looks like elastic or something or too soft. So you have to think about what kind of material your character is wearing and change that what kind of line you're using. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need to start adding a little bit of background going back to the character, background going back to the character, that kind of thing. When you are um, inking all the 
line using a ruler, I recommend use to use flip the ruler because there is a little gap here. So I recommend you to use that side, not like straight side when you're uh, drawing a line. Inking is actually fun because N not fun, it's just relaxing to compare with like making a storyboard or thinking about script or stories because when I'm making stories, scripting and then doing a storyboarding, I cannot listen to any music, especially the one with the, the lyric in it. I cannot listen to that kind of music. But when I'm inking, I don't have to worry about that much so I can listen to the music, enjoying, and then just uh, challenging, challenging the, my skill every time. So it's cool. Okay, then go back to the body. I will double check if the hands are really okay. Spending time on hands up, I think it's good because the eyes show the emotion, maybe most, but hands is close second, so hands shows, the character's hands shows the, what kind of character that, that person, this one is. I think it's always good to pay attention to when you are drawing hands. And I think it's quite a good idea to draw hands, not like on one go like this, but separated it with a joint to joint. If you draw hands one go, it quite often your character's hand looks like wearing rubber gloves or something. The tail because it's fluffy tail. I'll keep this short stroke roughness. The most of the part was inked for the character, so I will add the background. So you need a lot of patience to do the background. So there are some great manga artists whose background work is absolutely beautiful. I really, really respect those. People. And then my style is quite, people say, flat. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a clear line with, uh, you know, flat, almost flat coloring. And then um, I like that clean cut line of the, you know, woodcut pen, print of the ukiyo-e style. So I love associated with that kind of idea. But I also like, modern thing as well, obviously, so it's all, yeah, it's a mixture of things I get inspired from. So the line drawing part is almost done. So before going to adding detail, I will erase a little bit of this blue area because it's slightly distracting me. Many people, I think, after finish inking, many people scan the images and then rest of the part 
they're gonna do it on an uh, in digitally. So you don't have to worry about too much to erasing those blue initial sketching. But just for the sake of me, easy to look at. I'll erase a little bit. I think you should use um, erasers not like like this, but more short stroking, you know, kind of way. Almost like um, how do tapping and wipe because there is a moon. And then suppose the inside of the house is dark. So I'm thinking about the light source is here going from backward, from the back of the character. So think about where the shadow will be. You don't have to draw hair streak all over but concentrating on where the big uh, flow is okay so um, I'm adding that block block earlier only add the darkest area of the color of the area and of the section and maybe just add you line to indicate that this section in this case this Thing is dark in a color. Before I start, even start drawing, I think about this character. Hair is black color, or this character wearing dark color trousers, or that kind of things. Again, when I'm working at home, I do this kind of thing digitally, and later I would do this kind of. Um, rug with I quite like just not put all over rug, but I give a little bit of texture like here, here, here. So I do this kind. This I use this technique on sky here, night sky. So I reshape the moon with rug and maybe a little bit of texture on here and also um, if it's I'm doing it digitally I will scan it and then give a tone here and maybe inside of this character and around here to make sure that moon is shining behind him and there is a shadow and probably his only his eyes are shining that kind of effect hey thanks for watching next thursday yes we have another one for you this one is obada san He's going to take us into a journey about how to translate manga into Arabic, in particular, Captain Tsubasa. So Thursday, BM Channel, be there.